Hello Virgo, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2. This is your weekly read for the week of the 14th of September. So, so Virgo, 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 Virgo. What would Virgo like? Angel, spirit, guys, universe. What would you like to tell Virgo today? <laughs> Don't, this, my other stand's gone. This is a different stand. Um, Mercury retrograde, angels, spirit, guides, universe. What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 14th of September? What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 14th of September, please? The week of the 14th of September. Hmm. Angels, spirit, guides, universe. What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 14th of September? What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 14th of September? What would you like Virgo to know about the energies of Virgo? Week the 14th of September, Angel Spirit Guide Universe. What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 14th of September? Virgo, please. One more card, please, for Virgo, Angel Spirit Guide Universe. What would you like Virgo to know about this week of the 14th of September? Oh, Virgo. Right, bottom of the deck, we have the Empress Virgo. Could be the mother figure, could be you're, you're abundant, you're harvesting a lot of abundance this week. Um, you're reaping what you've sown. Uh, you've got the first card is the Ten of Swords with the Four of Cups. This feels like depression. This feels like people talking about you. This is feeling imprisoned, confined. This is the prison bars. Um, this person is in the fetal position. They can't get out of bed. They don't want to get up. They don't want to talk to anybody. They just feel um, treated badly by these witches that have been stabbing them in the back. Justice is here saying to the witches, stop. The sun is starting to rise. Um, this could be about friends. You could have heard some gossip. They might have told you to do something that wasn't right, uh, that you weren't, you weren't listening to your own instincts. Uh, it's made you feel very guarded in the realms of doing too much for too for, for people you're walking away from loving too much um once you walk away from doing too much martyring yourself um it's like this soulmate comes in this eye to eye love comes in again this this sort of meeting on the same level but there's jealousy here because of what's happened in the past. And you can't make up your mind. You're a bit confused about this. So it's telling you to stop crying over spilt milk. Stop looking to the past or what these people have done. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a sort of a soulmate a connection here. But... You might feel that this person's still holding some secrets or they're running in and out of your life. Um, so there's still two cups to work on. There's something to work on here. You might be traveling this week. There's lots of communication, swift arrows of love. This jealousy, this inability to make up your mind doesn't last long as long as you um, communicate. And not just communicate, but do something you're really, really passionate about. Um, that it's very creative you're on the crest of a wave but you, it's, it's air travel someone could be coming towards you very quickly um, this puts you at a crossroads of what to do you've got a lot of options here and um, it's only you that can make this week a success and it looks like you do Virgo it's a really nice spread of cards here um, so you're coming out of that depression you're coming out of that confinement where pe you feel people are talking about you um you're holding your foundation you're guarding your heart walking away from love and onto another path to new love to something that's more equal um you might just feel a little bit confused but this trip this this journey uh this communication will um let you see how many options you've got you've got four roads to choose from you could be writing something down. Uh, you could will things into existence. Like you need to look at the end result, manifest the end result. Like if you go into an interview, go in with the fact that you've you've already bought your suit or you're shaking the hand saying thank you very much. Don't worry about the actual interview. Just know that it's going to turn out really, really well. 
So you manifest the end of any of these roads because you've got all the tools to choose from. You've got lots of options. You've got a magic wand, but it's all down to you. It's your strength of will to make it a success. You're having, you're very seen this week. You're having an epiphany. It could be a birthday or something like that because I can see a celebration at the end of the week. Um, the sun shines on you. Uh, you could be traveling somewhere, um, but you're having an awakening. The, you're very, very protected, very healed. There's joy, there's children, and there's a celebration at the end of this week. And like I said, it could be to do with motherhood. It could be to do with just you embody all the queens at the same time. Um, but it's a celebration of healing, of travel, of joy, of it's a really nice card. So you, you might start the week off with these people that don't, that you might, maybe it's they're, 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 they're making a surprise party and you think they're talking about you and this this is what they're talking about. Um, so you, you feel, but you do feel stabbed in the back by a group of, of friends and um, you need to um, let go of that, walk away to another path. There's this new union here, this new eye-to-eye -eye meeting, and it puts you at a, a crossroads or an indecision. But there'll be the swift arrows of love. There's travel. There's someone coming towards you. It could be the Gemini, uh, Leo. It's very prominent. Aquarius, prominent, um, or Libra. But the Empress. Let's ask the Romance Angel cards. What would you like, Virgo, to know? So what starts off really depressing ends up. Very, 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 any, any time you get the sun in the deck, it, it melts anything that's slightly malefic in the, in the cards. So it's really powerful, especially with a magician there. You'll be very powerful. Write something down. You could be writing a song. People will see it. You could be on stage. Be the Leo. Come out as who you are. Be creative. There's, there's like this, you're riding a surfboard to the beach uh, with your creation with your love, with your communication. It's very, very Gemini uh, also. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's that. See what's happening now. Build on it. What Two cups that are still standing. The spilt cups get rid of. Make a decision to move forward. Make a decision to be passionate about your creations, be passionate about your life um, and joy and um, and celebration. Angels, spirit guides. I think people will be celebrating you at the end of this week. Angels, spirit guides, universe. And I think it's because you've walked away from, from these so-called friends. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Virgo to know? Virgo, 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 angels, spirit guides, universe. Can't take that many. I'll take the one here. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a healing of the past. Okay, you just see what's now. Begin again. Um, walk away from doing too much. Unguard your heart. There's like this twin flame, this soulmate. It, it, it progresses up to the three of cups. So there's some kind of union celebration here or date. Angel, spirit, guide, universe. What would you like? Uh, Virgo to know. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Wedding. Oh, this situation involves marriage. Angels. This is a marriage card also. Angel, spirit, guides. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yes, it's all down to you. You've got the crossroads, you've got the tools, you've got the creativity, you've got the communication. You could be selling things overseas. Someone could be coming from overseas. They could be um, asking you to travel with them. They could be asking you to, to marry them into a spirit guide universe what would you like but it is it's you need to walk away from from something of feeling like gossiped about or feeling depressed and uh concentrate on the now it's like someone wants to start again with you angel spirit guides and, and heal whatever's gone on in the past 
Because once that's done, you can move forward. You can have this sunshine. You can have this healing. Angel, spirit, God, universe. What would you like Virgo to know? Joy. This is the sunshine card. Look at the, the fish there. Um, joy is the highest energy of all. The magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible level. So it's like start again begin again forgive the people you need to forgive the sun's here you can celebrate you can start love again you can start work again you can start your life again yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being peace of mind and spiritual growth right now maybe that's what you need to do is the exercise to find this joy get out of this funk um angels just do you for a little while your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. This is faith as well. You need to, this, this God, you need to look at God. Speak to God. You have faith. This week is going to turn out amazing. Um, let me get one more for you, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. It's a quick reading because I know it's just going to be fine. You're, you're past that depression. Angel, spirit guides. I think you're going to forgive and heal and you'll be, it will miraculously be so easy as soon as you decide to do what to do as soon as you decide to 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 change or, or just do something differently now you've asked the angels for help be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance you deserve heaven's help we've got clear cognizance pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers and i am the angel of families a happy change or addition is coming to your family so it's, it could be something to do with family that you're forgiving and learning and, you know, it, it, it's like there's an attraction here. Someone wants to marry you. Um, you can have it all this week, Virgo. You just need to look at your cups in front of you. Whatever's gone and passed is, is done. Make a conscious effort to move forward and you'll be moving forward with somebody. But also... It's your, you can't blame anyone else for how you get to one of these roads. You've got to make it a success. You've got to make this a success now. That's it. <sighs> Thanks for listening. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.